this week I gave the challenge to my YouTube viewers and subscribers of converting this slide. You can see here this is a very basic slide which is the growth of bacteria at different temperature levels. So the challenge was to convert this slide into more infographic or more animated slide. So few of them have accepted the challenge and did really well. So let me just show you how I converted the slide from this to something like this. So this is the, the title I have given and then when I click a different temperature level will come here starting from 1 to 5 until greater than 70 degrees and then I have just put a thermometer uh, image there and when I click the first one which is delay in growth there is no bacteria and when the temperature rises to 5 degrees between 5 to 10 degrees then it will start you can see here the bacteria starts increasing and then from 10 to 25 it will increase further you can see here i've just given the images of the bacteria which is you know uh, teetering also and then when the temperature reach between 25 to 37 it will reach to the optimum level where it increase further and when the temperature increases further from 37 to 70 degrees it will start slowing down so i've just given the animation which represent it is slowing down and when the temperature reaches above 70 degrees it will die you can see here it looks something like this so you can see here if you compare the slide from this to this so you can see the difference all right so those was completed challenge a big thank you for them to accept it and to share it in my uh, whatsapp and the telegram group so let me just show you how i did this one so before that if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section so let's start the tutorial so based on this information i'm going to create one two three four five six boxes or the rectangles go to insert shapes i'm going to select the rectangle draw the rectangle maybe this much size and then i'm just going to say one two five okay and shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can choose any good color of your choice and then go to home and make sure that it is black and then i'm going to choose the font which is century gothic and make it a bold one all right and then let me just add few more so press ctrl d to duplicate if you want you can just give some gap here so let me just give some gap all right so as i said i need six so this is second third fourth fifth and sixth so one two three four five six so by holding the shift key i've just selected all the rectangles all right and if you want you can just reduce the size because the size is somewhat bigger you can see here and then i'm just going to move this here and then let me just select again one by one all and then go to the shape format align i will just say distribute horizontally so it got the equal uh, distance or the gap between the shapes and then i'm just going to change this one the text so 5 to 10 all right so just change the text according to the boxes uh, provided below so this is 10 to 25 so all those things you can change it then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to add a few more uh, shapes so go to insert shapes i'm going to select a rectangle the rounded corner rectangle and then draw the corner this rectangle from this end to this end all right and if you want you can just make it more curved and move it somewhat up and shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give any a maroon color and then send this to back so this is the place where you're going to show the temperature right so here either you can just write the uh, the word temperature or you can just simply select the thermometer which i have added here so i'm just going to place the thermometer here okay you can see something like this or if you don't have this image you can just simply write the the word thermometer so once this is done, what I'm going to do is let me just move this 
down somewhere and later on we'll delete this one so i don't need this one i'm just going to delete this then go to insert shapes here i'm going to select the rectangle again the rounded corner okay and this one i'm just going to make it more curved and then we have to give the title okay so go to insert or you can just give the title here only so i can just say growth of bacteria okay in different temperature levels or let it be i'm just going to make it simple the same color i'm going to use it shape outline make it no outline and then the font also i'm going to choose the same font which is century gothic make it bold now then what have what i'm going to do is i'm going to add one a table with uh, six columns okay for that go to insert shapes i'm going to select one line which is starting from this end to this end and hold the shift key so that you get a perfect straight line and if you want you can just make it blue or black or gray whichever color you prefer you can just add it and then go to insert shapes i'm going to select the line again so from the center i'm just going to add one line maybe this much tall or height again you can give the same color press ctrl d to duplicate and then just add it exactly you can see here something like this and later on we can just uh, align it properly okay so let me just select all these lines and make sure that it is align bottom okay now once this is done the next thing is this text i'm going to add it so delay in growth so i can just simply select this control c and i can just use this and then i can just change the text which is century gothic make it bold reduce the size and center line you can see something like this so you can see here i've just added all the test required so i don't need this now let me just delete this and then i want to add few more lines so i'm just going to select maybe this one which is the connector elbow and this one should start from here and should connect to this okay something like this and shape outline i'm going to give the same color and then you can increase the weight press ctrl d to duplicate rotate it you can see here i can just say flip horizontal and just bring the other side also okay let me just put it yes and this one i need to just increase the size so it will connect to this okay now what we need to do is we need to add the bacteria shape so for that go to insert shapes i'm going to select the oval shape draw the oval shape maybe this much size then right mouse click edit point you can see the four points this point i'm just going to drag this inside something like this and then the point which is at the top i'm just going to increase it you can see here and this also i'm just going to increase it so let me just zoom in so like this you can see here i can just increase it okay and then once this is done shape outline i'll make it no outline then shape fill go to format shape then i'm going to select a gradient fill so gradient fill what i'm going to do is i'm going to make it two stops only so one stop i'm going to make it a red color okay and the other one i'm going to make it more darker color and the type i'm going to select radial and from direction i'm going to say from center the dark one should come here so i'm just going to bring the other side something like this you can see It should something look like this okay and then i can just hold the shift key or just reduce the size according to this one so whichever way you want you can just change it or if you have some good images of bacteria that also you can use it so this is the starting so i'm just going to 
okay so maybe the size still it's not uh, relevant i feel let me just you can see here i can just make it more curved the moment i change this one you can see here the moment i touch this one this will again go so you have to be very careful okay so this also i can make it something like this okay so this looks somewhat okay and then i'm just okay, this is starting point so i'm just going to keep it only one increasing i'm just going to duplicate this again duplicate reduce the size okay maybe if you want we can just change the direction i'm going to add like this you can see here again one more press ctrl d again rotate it something like this okay and then this one this and this i'm going to group it ctrl g ctrl d to duplicate i can reduce the size okay so and then if you want i can just rotate also so you can see here this is increasing okay now for the optimum level i'm going to duplicate this and i'm going to add few more so that we are showing that okay at this temperature this is increasing you can see here again i can add one more ctrl d and then just reduce the size and then just add it more okay so you can just change the direction and then again slowing down means i'm just going to select this press ctrl d so it is slowing and then ctrl d which is dying so i'm just going to make it more smaller okay something like this so like this you can just uh, we have converted the slide something from this to this you can see the difference and it is more clear also to understand and you can just simple add some basic animations to it